Hi, it's Grandpa from Grammy and Grandpa Read, and today's book is The Frightful Ride of Michael McMichael. It's written by Bonnie Becker and illustrated by Mark Fearing. And it's put out by Candlewick Press. Twas the 13th of November, a stormy night, when the 13th bus hove into sight. <laughs> Something about it didn't seem right. But Michael McMichael boarded. Welcome, welcome, the driver grinned, beckoning McMichael in. His teeth were long and white as sin, his nose bent and warted. The bus was full, barely room inside. Perhaps he should wait for a different ride. But he was late, and well, besides, it was Grand's dear pet he transported. So the bus slipped off on its late night route, and Michael helped old ladies out, and in general was a lad most stout, as the riders steadily deboarded. Soon there were five then two, then one, till Michael McMichael was all alone with a driver whose face was as thin as bone and more and more distorted. When the best bus was empty, no others in sight, the driver hissed with soft delight. Doesn't the cold give an appetite for body parts assorted? The boy, it seems, had no noticed before, oh, hadn't noticed before, the jaw-like opening of the door, the tongue-like glisten of, of the floor, the teeth-like seats it supported. Really, you should stop up here. My grandmother's house is nearly near. I bring her something very dear. He held up the basket he sported. But you haven't paid, the driver moaned. I'm sorry to say you can't go home till you pay the fare with meat or bone. Our coffers will not be shorted. Curling his mouth in a dreadful sneer, he grabbed McMichael by the ear and twisting it, began to veer toward a slathering maw most horrid. Now Michael was a peaceable boy, kindness and cheer his greatest joys, but the moment called for a desperate ploy, and to this the lad resorted. Good sir, he cried, why the haste? Should grand sweet thing go to waste? Wouldn't you just... Wouldn't you like just a little taste? Your service should be rewarded. McMichael lifted the basket lid in the darkness something hid, but the greedy driver did as bid, his tongue uncoiled, black and contorted. Ooh. And thus he met a terrible fate for his head and arms and legs were eight. His shoes waved goodbye so sad, too late, he was gone, moved on, exported. Ooh. Twas the 13th of November, a stormy night, when the 13th, when the 13 bus lurched off in fright, and Michael McMichael strolled out of sight, or so it had been reported. <laughs> Burp. There's Grammy. <laughs> boy, he was a smart thinking little boy, wasn't he? But uh, gran <laughs> Granny's pet was a little scary there. I hope you liked that story. It was a good one for Halloween. Remember to smash the like button, give us a big thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and watch the playlist for Halloween.